Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Three Strangers Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan. I'm Nick. I'm Bill. And we have our boy Skippy Midnight leading us with our engineering and audio needs. And this is a new podcast that we're starting for the Flash Forward Reviews channel, for Spotify, and for Apple Music. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just start to talk about how our day was and a little bit about ourselves. So, Bill, why don't you start? Oh my goodness. What is there to say that hasn't already been said? I'm joking, I'm joking. But, um... <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> my day today was, it was all right. I, I feel like it was like the first day of the year where I felt like it's getting cold and I'm uncomfortable about that. <laughs> you know, it just means like, you know, it's just only going to get like more cold. And so it got really dark because of everything with, um, you know, uh, fall back daily savings. You know what I'm talking about? Um, overall, it was a kind of good day. I, I had to like, you know, a lot of school work and thing a lot of stuff to catch up on mm-hmm. i don't know like i was saving a lot of stuff for after midterm so now like i'm paying the price yeah paying the piper whatever mm-hmm. um how, how about you nick how, 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 was, how was your existence uh it's also getting cold where i am although that is uh 40 degrees, <laughs> 40 degrees? Uh, and, uh, yeah Call me. <laughs> and you know and being from the north i i thought myself would be like oh no yeah i'm not going to be cold till it's like 20 nope it's happened. I'm I'm cold. That's it. <laughs> uh, skin. Yeah. Um. Had a lot of work to do. Um. Had a pretty busy day, but ha- uh, happy to be here. You, Ryan. I'm glad you're happy to be here. I had a pretty good day. You know, I was sewing today for class. Uh, sewing socks. I don't believe that. Yeah. No, I, don't believe, I don't believe that. I don't believe that's don't a real class. It? But okay, Ryan. <laughs> oh, it, for a honestly, it's it's really not a real class, but. I did, <laughs> and this is the whole point of this podcast. Watch a movie today, and oh, you know what movie it was? What movie? What? It was The Strangers. I oh. actually watched oh. The Strangers tonight. Oh, wow. <laughs> In honor okay. of this okay. being the first podcast. How fitting. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Awesome. It's so get in the mood. Exactly. And, like, watching it again tonight... It's not a bad movie. Like, I feel like it got hated on a little bit too much when it was released, but... I agree. Like, I agree. I think the one issue that people had with it was that the strangers could, like, teleport everywhere, and it felt like they were a little bit too perfect with everything, which I completely mm-hmm. get. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. since we're talking about horror and things that people didn't like, yeah. why don't we talk about our topic today, which is the worst right. that horror has to offer i'm gonna start with you nick what is your first movie that you think is the worst that horror has to offer um oh okay my taste is a bit uh pretentious because i tended to stay away from uh bad horror movies Mm -hmm. Uh, however there might have been one um one drunken night where uh, i chose to watch pumpkinhead uh, <laughs> you are okay. not you are not about to put pumpkin head in the worst of horror uh yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's the, the I was just here when you have to say. <laughs> uh it's the, the the worst i've seen i have to say um and it's it's funny although i think it takes itself way too seriously yeah um because sure. it's like it's creepy but it's not a good movie <laughs> Yeah. No, no. It has more of the fun, fun feel to it. Although it does take itself a little bit too seriously. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah, and the acting just doesn't add up. You know, with it, it just. I think yeah. for me, I really like the special effects from it. Like Pumpkinhead itself, mm-hmm. I, I mm-hmm. think is pretty good for the time that it was made and everything. Yeah, I think that's that fair. in terms of that. Well, but... well, Ooh. when was it made? Like what? Like what year did that come out? Do, like do you know off the top of your head? Uh, I don't. I can just do a little bop. Bit, boop, I feel bop, like boop. it was the '80s. If I'm if I'm trying to think, it's the somewhere 80s. in the '80s. I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think so. It, '88. Yep, '88. '88. '88. Okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting um, movie. I mean, um, perhaps it, perhaps its sequels and later movies are the worst as well. Mm-hmm. So maybe that just all gets grouped together. I don't know. Yeah. But what about you guys? 
What's your first worst? All right, let's hear it, Bell. Let's hear well, it. All right. Um, oh, oh, brother. I just want to say that this is a no chronological order. Like, I have, like, an idea of, like, you know, like, w w what I have for each one. But mm -hmm. yeah, this is not an order from, like, worst to best or, like, whatever, whatever. Um, the remake of The Wicker Man. Now it's very, it's very, it's famously a terrible, terrible movie. But, but like you know, it, it's bad because it's Nick Cage, and like everybody knows, it's like you know, like Nick Cage is like not generally not a very good actor. Still, still waiting to see Color Out of Space. Mm -hmm. Still waiting to see Color Out of Space because I've heard that that was a surprisingly good movie. But the, the writing is really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Like atrociously bad. Like you know, there's like cheesy. I remember like like there's this kind of famous scene in the movie where there was this burned doll, and Nick Cage just keeps talking about it. like how 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 did this doll get burned? Who burned this doll? And it's like like you don't need to say it five times. How did it get burned? 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 Yes, yes, yes. And so, so, and, and there's like, there's like a million and one famous, like the bees and the, uh, 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 uh punching the lady in the face oh and everything. God. In the bear oh. suit. <laughs> in the bear suit, yes. And so it's, it is, it is a very bad movie. From, you know, a remake of a, a right horror movie. I don't know really? if you guys have you, seen You would say that it's just all right? <sighs> like, all right, like, Ryan like, 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 all right plus. Okay. What would you give it? Like, okay, good, I get good that. Or, I or, yeah. for me, I really like the original Wicker Man. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's very effective in what it tries to do and what it was at the time. I think looking back on it now, it has become a little bit cornier than like sure. it probably would have liked to be mm -hmm. by now. Since it is about Christian uh, Christianity and paganism, I feel like that's not yeah. something we really talk about nowadays. That's such a big issue. Yeah, you know, kind of a kind of a. It's topic, yeah. Honestly, yeah. It's time. Mm. And it? I think yeah. that's why yeah, for I'll the look. remake, I think that's why for the remake they try to switch it to be boys versus girls. <laughs> <laughs> it is not good. <laughs> no, it is one of my favorite funny not. bad horror movies. But oh boy, is it just a terrible movie? Like, I wouldn't take one of yours. I wouldn't mm -hmm. take one of yours. You um, didn't. If that was one of your funny bad. Oh, thank goodness. I was going to, that was on my head. Like, that was one of them I was really thinking about doing, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with something else. So, I'm going to say my first okay. movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Which I'm going to go. Everyone knows this. If you know me, you know I hate this movie with everything in me. And it is the Bye Bye Man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everything <laughs> wrong with Sankama is in that movie. Everything possibly wrong that you can imagine in cinema oh. is wrong in it. There is not a <laughs> single moment in that movie that you're like, oh, this is good. Like, this could be in a different movie. It could be good. I cannot tell you one positive that I have with that movie. No, there's definitely at least one positive thing about the Bye Bye Man. I can't think you know of one off I the top my, of my head. <laughs> I have my notes from when I do my reviews. I can look up from when I actually did my review, what my one pro was, if I even had one. Let me find was it. Was it like a backhanded compliment or something? Or <laughs> Oh, it 100% was. But I mean, oh. The question would be, is the Bye Bye Man we, a, approach that level of so bad it's funny? That's my issue with it. It's not funny. It's really It's not boring. funny. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty not funny. And I, like, I, I, don't, I, don't I just think found it's a funny it. Movie. Uh, and I have no pros. I literally have no pros written for it. This is the only movie that I have in my book that has no pros. I, I've got to find something positive to say about the Bible. I mean, it's it been a long time since I've seen it. You the know? DVD case um, is nice. <laughs> <laughs> if if I had so, to say maybe one, like maybe, the one thing that I could say about the movie is that there's one funny sequence in which a woman gets hit by a car but they didn't know how to edit the body getting hit by a car. So her body literally gets morphed into the car and then just flings out of it. And it is <laughs> so funny, like how incompetent it is. And that's the only time that I laugh within that movie because the rest is so terrible and boring. 
I my God. I'm just saying, I, I can't believe the Bye Bye Man is from 2017. It feels like a yeah. much older, worse movie. <laughs> it feels like a, oh, wow. It, it's only three, three years, three years old. old. That's why I yep. said, like, I'm like, yeah, like I saw this movie years ago. No, I saw it in 2017. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Like, I remember wow. watching it the first time because it was like, it's called The Bye Bye Man. There's no way this movie isn't funny. And it wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, remem- I remember there being. What was the opening scene of the Bye Bye Man? It was pretty good. The opening scene but, is like interesting, but like oh. once once it starts, once he starts talking, he's like, "Don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it." The entire time, but it starts off with a guy who's like, "Did you tell anyone?" And she's like, "No." And he's like, "Did you tell anyone?" She's like, "Yes." And he just shotguns her <laughs> through a door. Okay, maybe it is a funny movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny now that I'm thinking about it. it yeah. uh, there's just so much yeah. wrong with it. But all right, Bye Bye Man is mine. Let's go to our second movie options. And we're going to start with Bill now for the second go for, around. All right. For me. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, oh man, this, this is a hot take. Do I save my hot take for the last one? <clears throat> maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. I save my hot take for the last save one. Save the hot take. Yeah, let's do that. I, I got a hot take for the okay, last okay, one. Too, okay, okay, so I'll save that for the hot, I, I'll save that for the last one. Um, um, this, this movie is pretty famously terrible. But mm-hmm. what is unique about this movie is that it is actually not considered uniquely terrible. It is considered the worst movie of all time. One of the worst movies of all time. Um, it's very old. You guys, do you guys know? Do you guys know? Do you guys know what movie I'm talking about? Right away. I just think like, I know. Right I think I know automatically. The horror movie. Yeah, you gotta want to put him down, Ryan. Yep, put him do down. I say it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I hope. Okay, I'm gonna I get. Is it? Is it Troll Two? No, it's not Troll Two. It's not Troll Two. <laughs> it's not Troll Two. It's 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 Manos, the Hands of Fate. Oh, that was my <laughs> one. That I was gonna say. <laughs> Okay, so I just want to I just want to say disclaimer, um, like you know, like when I was younger, I was a pretty big fan. Even to this day, I, I've been a pretty big fan of, of Mystery Science Theater three thousand mm-hmm. and everything. And one of their greatest like episodes was the thing that they did on Manos, the Hands of Fate, which by the way translates to hands. I was gonna, I, hands. I wanted to say that, yeah. <laughs> so. It has like a, like like the movie has such a mythos to it, but it basically all boils down to um are we like like we're allowed to swear right? Oh yeah, you can swear. It's a complete piece of shit. It is so bad. <laughs> it is so fucking bad. Um, I also want to say that apparently it was made on a bet. It was made on a bet to be like. Uh-huh one of the worst no it wasn't made to be a bad movie but like some guy was like yeah i can make a movie anyone can make a movie apparently not i excuse me anyone can make a movie not mm. everyone can make a good movie it's just so bad it's like a, it's like also like kind of like offensive and stuff there's a whole there's a whole host of things wrong with it but i tried watching it without the mst3 mst3k comedy uh track like backing track and everything impossible impossible mm-hmm. cannot get through it. cannot cannot get through it anyway okay that's all I, I remember hearing about it for the first time watching a Chris Stuckman review of it. Yeah. And like, yeah. After watching, I was like, I need to watch this. And oh my God, it's so hard to watch. Like, it really is a hard movie to watch. Look, it's not even like, it's not even like, like surface level entertainment. It, it barely <laughs> classifies as like something you can watch. It's terrible. Yeah, Although I really want to, I really want a, um, I really like, I'm for Halloween one year. Oh, I missed it. Crap. Like, I'll, 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 <laughs> is it, it is November uh... Uh, 2nd. <laughs> so, 363 days in the making. I'm going to make the famous costume. Anyone that's seen the movie knows. Like, you, you, you know, the thing with the guy with the hands yes. and everything. Yes. Yes. You need to make it. Nick, Nick, you've never seen this movie in any capacity, right? Uh, probably not. Nope. Don't. Oh. That's no. all I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, so so what's your second? Uh, well, so my in the in the realm of things uh, that you want, you think people shouldn't see. Mine is some, probably something only a lot of people saw that a lot of people enjoyed because it was oh. bad. 
So this I, is not get, your hot take. This is not your hot take. Movie? This is not my hot take. No, my hot take will be after this. Okay. Um, I I was trying, you know, I was trying to dig deep into like movies that I have, you know, seen. Right. Then I then it dawned on me. TV movies. Oh, maybe you know, okay. maybe you know where I'm, maybe maybe you know where I'm going with this. Uh, maybe not. Um, I, oh, I have a few movies in my head, but I want to hear okay. what, what is it. Okay. I, have, yeah, I, have, I, mean, I have one. I have one in my head, so I want to hear. Um, this. Ned, uh, it, it's a natural disaster. Okay. Natural disaster movie labeled as a horror movie. Okay. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that my my second pick is Sharknado. <laughs> It was. I it, was it. What I was <laughs> it was. It was. Why do you not like Sharknado? It, hold on, we can't say sit here and say it's a good movie. It's not a good movie. <laughs> it's it's not, entertaining. It's an entertaining movie, yeah. But it, it, it's a it's classified as a horror movie, and it does anything but scare you. It's true. It's true. Right. So, I mean, sure. it completely fails in its mission. At least in the sec, I think in the ones to follow, the second, third, and fourth, they knew by then people thought they were funny, and I feel like they just made them to be funny. Mm-hmm. I agree. Right. I agree. But that first one, their mission was to scare people. And then, I mean, then, what's up? If you think about it, a shark being in a tornado. Is terrifying. Uh, it's scary. <laughs> yeah, I can't. But to make a tornado a, itself is pretty scary. But to make a movie about a shark <laughs> NATO? That's just a colossal fail on all fronts. This got greenlit is like the worst thing. This got <laughs> greenlit by a company. <laughs> it did. This will scare audiences. This will get money. And they were right. Yeah. <laughs> About one thing, mm-hmm. it did get, get money. money. Yeah, which is the in, which is the embarrassing how many thing. You know? how many how many sequels? You know, like did Sharknado get five, six sequels? It was crazy. I, I thought five. It's a lot. Not sure if there's how many there. Are. Okay, and, and the last one was like the last bite or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was a real thing. Oh, it's great. like funny because like, yeah. There's so many shark movies, I feel like, you know. Oh, yeah. Jaws. Um, yeah. That's it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the one? Yeah. Uh, well, Jaws, you know, Jaws is classic, you know, easily mm-hmm. a classic. So, like. I will say, Jaws, we could put one of the Jaws movies on here. I didn't put it down, but we could have said Jaws the Revenge oh. as one of the. I was, oh. you know, that was yeah. on my list. Yeah. <laughs> that was on my list. Very, 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 very bad. Very bad. Oh, yeah. So bad. But all right. You guys ready for my second option? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So this one, I will always say, is the worst horror movie that I have ever seen in my life. That is worse than the Bye Bye Man. And I will always okay. live by this. Okay. It was a Netflix okay. original. Oh. It stars Clay from 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> And that okay, movie is lost me. The Open House. Have you guys oh. heard of The Open House? <laughs> I thought you were, yes. were going to say the, Really? Okay, I thought you were going to say The Babadook. Yeah. I was like, that was no, pretty good. No, was I like The Babadook. I like The Babadook. No, The oh, Open I House. I disagree with that opinion. Open House? I've never seen The Open House. What is it about? You like, so, like, you like a little yeah, something? Oh yeah, of course. So, it's this movie about this uh son and mom and the dad passes a wife getting into like a car accident or like he was like walking and someone like just hit him like straight on with their car really badly shown but so they end up not get like having a lot of money so they're friends with someone who has this big house that's for sale so she says they can live there for a little bit and so they move there and it's like up for, you know, it's like an open house. People are going in and stuff, and okay. they feel like they're getting stalked by someone. Mm. And, and, yeah. and that's, the, that's the plot? That's the that's plot. The plot. The... And, man, it is so bad. Our, our killer is the absolute worst killer you could possibly imagine. Like, he, he would have been caught instant, like an in instance. He would have been caught. 
but somehow we have the stupidest family that ever lived. There's a sequence where the mom is in bed. The guy literally goes into bed with her. She doesn't what? feel it, which is like, okay, what? she could be sleeping. She could maybe not feel that. Okay. But she wakes up. She wakes up and gets out of bed, goes to the bathroom, and walks back into the room where she would be looking right at the guy in bed. And, see him. Like she would see him. There's no way impossible that she could like not see him mm-hmm. and she doesn't see him. Good. No. No, you see, that could be a really effective scene if it was set up in such a way that there's plausible deniability. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. that's she, like, by far the heavy. worst. She's like rubbing her eyes or something. Right. And, yes. Right. Yeah. And by far the worst thing of that movie is our killer. There's a whole thing with Clay and how he like wears I'm gonna call him Clay because I forget the character's name in the movie. There's oh, a Clay. scene where <laughs> Clay <laughs> is running away from him and it's like stuff throughout the whole movie that he's like a runner and like he has uh uh he has contact lenses and our killer tackles him and literally takes out his contact lenses <laughs> that's impossible <laughs> what Close he literally... eyes when he gets tackled. exactly and clay's just like oh, as he's doing this. and he just goes <laughs> Takes him out and then goes, now run. <laughs> okay, so this movie suffers from logic failure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that sucks. That sucks. It's really yeah. bad. Like, when I tell you it is, it's worse than the Bye Bye Man, because, like, half the movie is so boring as well. And, like, I'm saying that, and, like, it sounds funny saying it, but, like, in the moment, you're like, this is so stupid. Like, this is even funny. This is just incompetence on screen. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, that, it's too bad. It's too bad. Mm-hmm. Especially, like, when director choices could change that entire quality, right? Sounds like it could have been a good movie. It and could. Yeah. Well, it could have been a good movie. All right. at least in all right. Yeah, at least an all right movie. Yeah. What's All right, that's... we're up to round. We're up to round three with the movies, and I'll say mine first since I've had everyone else go first in their rounds. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna right. say my yeah. third one. So this one, I had two really bad ones, like just plain out bad, and I decided to have mm. the number one movie that I have on my funny bad horror movies, which is Truth or Dare. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's up. Okay. Yeah, that's that's up. Fun, there. So funny, bad, right? That's yes. Saying okay. What the, I swear, I cry laughing every time I watch this freaking movie. It is so funny. Well, from what I remember, it takes itself pretty seriously. Right? It does. It which does. Is, which it is does. a problem. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, of course, the acting is. Oh my god, don't even get me started on the acting. You hate all the characters. The writing doesn't make any sense. They try to like rewrite rules within the movie. Like, cause you know it's truth or dare. You say truth or you say dare. And then like halfway through the movie, they try to like pray on in a rule where it's like, oh, you can only do two truths in a row, and then you have to choose a dare. Like it felt like they didn't know what they were writing, and it got to the point where at the end it feels like they were doing five different endings at the same time. This is my, just it, terrible. This is, it's yeah, kind of yeah, like no, 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 like like honestly, like I need to like think about what I'm gonna say. Like, like you go for it. Like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> to me, that, to me, it was kind of like you were watching. It was kind of like you were experiencing Truth or Dare when you were a kid for the first time, mm-hmm. and everyone's got different rules, and no one's like, you know, like grown up enough to like fight with the other person but then by the end of it you just like don't wind up having fun yes yes it just gets awkward yeah (laughs) Yeah. and you're just kind of like at the end of it it's like i don't care (laughs) (laughs) there's two things like one there's one character in this movie where every time there's like drama or something she runs away like that's her character she just runs away from the issue which is the and, way to do life, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The horrible way to show a character, like, deal with, like, actually, like, really important topics. But, like, 
they have that. But also, I would love to have a sequel to this movie. And it's just basically this post-apocalyptic world of everyone sitting in circles, just playing truth or dare. (laughs) (laughs) I think that would be a fantastic movie. Oh, like I'm reading about like, so, so, so Ryan, you're hoping Mm -hmm. for a truth or dare sequel? Oh. Well, I'm happy to report something to you, buddy. In February 2020, Blumhouse Productions announced the sequel of Truth or Dare is in development. So, <laughs> so 2020 was a good year. 2020. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything yeah. canceled out. <laughs> I don't know. For, for, oh my god, that's really funny. But like, for me, Truth or Dare, I just remember it being incredibly forgettable. You know, mm-hmm. incredibly forgettable movie. Yeah. But beyond that, it, it it's in that weird vein of I I couldn't even watch like Unfriended all the way through. You guys know oh, like yeah. Unfriended yeah. and all those movies. And like it's that particular sect of like weird like like you know high school college people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like like yeah. I'm, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And like it's just unfriended was funny because it's just so like it's just so like oh yeah like like this isn't gonna be good but truth or dare took itself way too seriously for 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 its own good um Mm -hmm. i guess we'll see if they get to redeem themselves it was a very profitable movie i know it made like 80 million dollars off of i think it made 95 90 million off of a budget of 3 million so it it was insanely profitable Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to like follow that. I, I remember hearing that at the time, something like that. But yeah. But um, what's it? What about you, Nick? What What's your number three? It's, this is a, this is my hot take. Um, okay. So ready? This is known as right. some. Sometimes it's no. Sometimes known as like top twenty horror movies of all time. Whoa! How much of a hot take this is gonna be? So I hope everyone's prepared. Mine is Rosemary's Baby. You don't like ro- wow. Well, wow. All right, now hear me out. Part of me that okay, kind of knew. Hear yeah. Hear there was a part okay. of that kind of knew because I know you don't like that movie. First time, the first time I watched the movie, uh, I was with my uh, roommate uh, and and best friend in college, um, and we first of all, you we watched an hour and a half of it, and nothing happens. This couple moves into a to an to a building to a house or apartment, and has conversations with a quiet old lady next door. Occasionally, have sex on the floor, um, twice, and because you know, they're like, you know what, we don't have a bed, but who cares? Um, <laughs> no furniture in the house. That's what they do. Whatever. Okay, but it, you get creative back in the seventies. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Whatever. Well, like, okay, some people argue that, um, you know, that be- that beginning is building the relationship between establishing the relationship between a newly husband and wife, but it's an hour and a half of it. It's a movies. Or there are horror movies that are less than this time taken to develop this relation. I mean, it got to, there was a point where we were falling asleep and it wasn't even like, it it wasn't even late, but we were getting so bored that we, and that we were like having a conversation about it. We paused it and saw that it had been an hour and a half and there were still, there was still an hour left. So a very long movie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, and we, we, we we both like at the same time, like what the hell? You know, how how can this get any how does this get better? And well, of course it's the second half that everybody knows. Right. Well I At the Yeah, the thing oh, I was just gonna say, like, I will definitely say if you know the big secret of Rosemary's baby, it's a hard film to get through. <laughs> it, it it like if you know like what's kinda like get, like gonna happen and stuff. I know that it was um oh god, um Roman Polanski's like big like directorial debut. Mm. I think if everybody knew that that if it was like you know if everybody knew the plot kind of going in, like it, it really relies on that like almost M Night Shyamalan kind of like 
the twist is yeah. the thing. You know, that's the yeah. thing. What do you think, Ryan? Yeah. So, I think it's hard for me to put it within the like worst of horror. Although, like, I will say, I completely like understand and like know where you're coming from because that first hour and a half is really hard to get through, and yeah. it's just too much plot. A lot of it not really needed. Yeah. But oh yeah. I I have to like I feel like for me I have to say like it was so influential to horror movies that came after it. And that isn't to say that it was this great movie because for me, Blair Witch Project, very influential of a movie for the found footage films. I really don't like the Blair Witch Project. I have so yeah, much to say big. about the Blair Witch. We should probably save that for another podcast. Yeah, that's, yeah. I love that that's movie a whole for the whole conversation. Yeah. But like, I completely understand like you having it in your bottom three. And I will say, I don't think it should be top 20. I don't think it should be anywhere near that. I mean, I my thing is that my thing is like, and, and there's this huge monologue at the end, um, by the the lead woman who that it's great. I I have no um complaints about it. But my problem is 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 one good monologue make up for an hour and a half of nothing? No, no, it doesn't. You're right. You are right for that. I don't know. I I remember it being a pretty well shot movie. Like I remember, like like there was definitely care put in. It's like to the thing, but yeah, you're you're totally right. Like you know, it's really that last act of the movie. Like you know, the second half, at least you know that really makes it into something that people would want to come back to. I guess so. You know, that's mm-hmm. my opinion on it mm-hmm. and everything. Um, mm-hmm. what's it? Um. All right, let's hear it, Bell. What is your hot take you of a hot third take? movie? I guess. Oh man, how do I? How do I? How do I, how do I preface this? Um, I would say so. My big thing is that before anything else, I really like this movie. I remember seeing this movie and being like, "Wow!" Like you know, like like. But I like. I was kind of. I was kind of shocked to learn that it was a cult film mainly because of how gross it is so i'm gonna i'm gonna i don't know if you guys have seen this movie or not i'm assuming i'm assuming you guys may have but um 1985's reanimator have you guys seen this movie oh have you guys seen reanimator oh yeah now yeah Good, good, pretty good film. Pretty, pretty good. But I remember hearing that it was going to be an X. It was going to be an X-rated film in 1985, which, of course, no yeah. longer exists. Like, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it's like NC-17 or whatever it is now. Um, It almost didn't get released. And I remember understanding why it's, it's not quite like a body horror. I guess it is a body horror film, but like, it's not quite to the degree of like, of like, like, like a film like Cronenberg's like, 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 like naked lunch or anything like that. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I believe it's a good film. Um, I believe that it relies a lot on sort of this concept of like, you know, how much can you take visceral like body part wise and everything? Um, and I guess, you know, I'm not a big fan of like, 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 you know, gross out kind of movies. I still think it's a good film, but I don't know. I'm interested to see what you guys think of it, though. Oh yeah, no, I agree. I I think, um, it was gruesome, mm-hmm. just to be gruesome. Yes, and that's why and not part. in a way, and not in a way that like the torture porn subgenre has. Right become gruesome it's it's more just weird stuff yeah and weird horror uncomfortable horror can really have that effect where like it winds up being too uncomfortable to to um stomach almost to stomach yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And not in a growth in, in, in a gross sense but not in a like not in a exorcist movie having people puke sense just a 
why would you make that into existence? Why why would that logic be in a movie? You know? Yeah. yeah. I agree. Like I remember the first time I kind of heard about this movie. Um I actually like after watching it, I ended up watching like Dead Meat's Kill Count of it. Uh great channel by <laughs> the way. Bit. But <laughs> bit, yeah. Like it's such a strange movie because it tries to be funny while also painting this very disgusting kind of like like exploitative kind of film yes and, yes yeah you, you said like, nailed it perfectly i think that's what it's exploitative. Yeah. yes yeah yeah and not in the sense of like how sleepaway camp was exploitive of like the lgbtq right. community this one right. was more exploitive in like a disgusting body horror kind of you don't this is not something you wanted like ever see in your life kind of way while also kind of making jokes about it at the same time it, it becomes yeah, like, look, really look uncomfortable at points yes like i don't know it's so weird and that's why i'm hesitating to like say too much like i like it like i like i think it's like like a, a relatively like good film yeah yeah you're absolutely right it's like it's exploitative to the point where it's like, look at how gross we're being, which is not body horror in yeah. my opinion. You okay. know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I struggle with that movie. a lot. <laughs> it's like kind of its own, its own thing in a way. Like it's not really body horror, but it's in that weird realm of some, like being part of it while also being exploitive. It's um, what's it? It also spawned, a ton of sequels, none of which I've seen, so hmm. might have to get on that. I know there's Bride of Reanimator. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Right. Have you seen that? You've seen that? Uh, oh. No, but I, I remember hearing about it after I hear. Yeah, Reanimator is one of the first horror movies that I saw um, in college uh, with the same said friend. Oh. Um, okay. And we were both like, uh, <laughs> we, were, we, and then it was one of those movies where we showed to our girlfriends. Because of how gross it was, yeah, I don't like that kind of. Thing. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, no, yeah. no, <laughs> okay. do not, do not let us see. No, not, yeah, if you're showing to them for that reason, like, look, this is like a gross film, then yeah, yeah. Mm, I will say, I will always love the line where he's like, uh, "What did you want me to say? Cat's dead. Talk later." <laughs> like, <laughs> that will always be my favorite line of the movie. <laughs> No, I just remember. Oh, and also, I I remember. Uh, you remember what the name of the of the of the scientist in the movie is that has the original reanimated? Like, this is a good trivia. Oh. This is good trivia for you guys. No, I like, don't it's remember. Kind of, his name is is Hans Gruber. Before Die Hard yeah. came out. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's it's odd. It's really odd. Like people are like, kind of like oh, like that's you know, like <laughs> like. <laughs> like you know, the, those words would come together like three, three years. I heard it's like eighty-eight or something. I think. Yeah. Oh so. yeah, yeah. Is, okay. I will yeah. say, like one positive that I have with like Reanimator, like in terms mm-hmm. of like actual good things about the movie, its score is fantastic. Yes, yes, it's it's mm-hmm. visually striking. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously, yeah, gross out, but visually striking, yeah. But its score Absolutely. is also really, really good. Um. Yeah, no, no. I want to watch Reanimator. That's not good. That's not good. Thing. That's, that's not, not a good. good thought to have. That's not a good, I feel like that's the wrong thing we're trying to do here. <laughs> I was gonna say, talking about this, I kind of want to watch Truth or Dare again. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> oh no, no! Look back to the that's light, it. Ryan. Do not. Like yeah. It. So much for uh, so much for it... Mana. Like. <laughs> I do want to hear, like, is there one movie that, like, you were like, ah, you were thinking about putting on your list and it just didn't? Like, we don't need to go into detail about it, but just, like, one movie that you're really thinking about and just didn't pull the trigger? There was. I'm trying to remember. Oh, um, um, I remember I had, the two that I had floating around my head was Jaws Revenge, The Revenge, the, Jaws The Revenge. That's what its name is? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, very bad. I mean, Jaws 3D was bad. Jaws 2 was bad. The original Jaws was mm. pretty okay, <laughs> you know. Was yeah. was you know as in its own right, like as like a summer blockbuster and stuff. It really gave people a fear of sharks forever, you yeah. know. And like <laughs> yeah. America now eats sharks, you know. So whatever. Yeah. But um, uh, uh, my other one was um 
rubber, which I feel like is just oh, so annoying. Yeah. So, such, so a, annoying. such a movie. Such, such a movie. Such like, a movie. Oh, so right. those are my those are my two I was also considering. I don't mm-hmm. know if it's yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean I, I was loosely considering um the Babadook and then I I realized <laughs> for me it's not a it, it's like my least favorite but not necessarily um the worst. I can't mm-hmm. say it's the worst horror movie out there. It's just one of the worst I've seen. Um, but sure. there's definitely when it can't be the Babadook can't be one of the worst movies if there are like four movies called Evil Bong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep, and the Ginger Dead Man <laughs> and the Ginger Dead Man and then Evil Bong versus the Ginger Dead Man. Like, there's something about those movies that I I haven't seen them, but I almost don't have to, do I? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, you really, I mean, really don't need to. I will say I have watched Ginger Dead Man and I have watched Ginger Dead Man 2, Passion of the Crust. <laughs> and okay. Okay. <laughs> it is okay. exactly what you imagine. You're taking you're, you're taking years off my life, even mentioning this. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, gin, wait, Ginger Dead 2, Passion of the Crust. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, the third one's called Saturday Night Cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but for me, I, I had uh, two going around my head, too, that I was really thinking about. Okay. Uh, one was The Wicker Man. I was really thinking oh. about putting The Wicker okay. Man. Yeah. yeah. And my second one was The Happening. Sucks. <laughs> Sucks. So bad. So bad. Sorry, if you want, if you want to talk about it, Ryan. As... No, you just explained that movie with one word. Just sucks. <laughs> sucks. I, I have a, I have a whole hot take on M Night Shyamalan. Like, like, like mm. that, that's a whole that's a whole. We can like have like a whole podcast on on his uh, on his stuff. I mm. I think he's quite the overrated director, but we we can, mm. we can talk about that. Yeah, I. Oh, yeah. Bert- I mean. Yeah. Name an objectively good, um, name an objectively good M Night Shyamalan movie that's not um, The Sixth Sense or he directed mm-hmm. Seven, right? Yeah, I believe Seven, so. right? Did he? Yeah, I think so. No, okay. no, he didn't. No, no, he, did. he did. No, it seems like did. a movie that he would direct, but no, um, no, he never directed <laughs> Seven. <laughs> okay, name a movie. That's, I know people love The Village, and I did too. Oh, oh he's the. Bi- Oh yeah, no, I used to love the village. It, the village, not a horror movie to me. Whoa, that's a hot take. What is it then? Is it a thriller? I, it's just, it's just, it's just a suspenseful thriller. Yes, so, I agree. It's sure, pain- good, I think good. the problem with the village is like they painted it that it was a horror movie when it's not. Although yeah. I really don't like the village because for me, you shouldn't like. He should not be in the movie just to explain the twist that he made. Yes. To me, that's lazy and like proves that you like that it's not a good movie if you have to be the one to go into a movie and explain the twist. You know? Mm. I, so I, I, not, I don't know. Oh, I mean, was is the I can't really say the twist is very explained. I mean it's it's obvious. It is, but like it's obvious to us, but for him to feel the need to make a character where even he explains it, you know? Yeah, oh, I gotcha. I got, yeah, that, that character that's solely for that Yes. Reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I also want to take this moment to apologize to David Fincher and the great work he did on directing Seven. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I didn't know. David Fincher has directed other things too, but I don't know. Um, yeah, no, The Village, like you can literally see it coming from a mile away. But when I'm ten, when I was ten, when I when I when I become ten again, who knows? <laughs> um, maybe I'll. Be I didn't see it. You never seen? It? Go on. I didn't see it coming. No, I thought it was very. I mean, it was a slow movie, and it was creep. It was creepy and suspenseful. And then at the end, it was like, oh, yeah. Like, monsters look great. The yeah, monsters look. Great. Oh yeah, the monsters are really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just thought it was like. Yeah, like they're surrounded by woods, and you know, it's 
it seems too experimental. You know, like the the situation that they're in is like an experimental thing. I mean, I didn't catch it when I was like ten, eleven when, when like I first saw it. But um, mm-hmm. you know, I just remember like I watched it actually pretty recently with, with with some people, and it's like, man, like you know, I don't know. You can see it coming, but yeah, maybe, maybe I just have to shut my brain off for stuff like that. You know. I enjoy it. Like I think for me with Shyamalan, of course the Sixth Sense will. There's no like that's his greatest movie of that he's ever directed. Yeah, no, but no objections. Yeah, for me, like I love Unbreakable. Oh, I think that's yeah. a fantastic oh. movie. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. a good movie. Um, yeah. Signs is pretty good. Oh, sorry. Signs. Shit. Oh, Signs. Yeah, no. Signs kind of revolutionized the Alien movie. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, one thing I don't like is at the end he shows too much and you could see how fake the alien looks. Yes. And that's my yes. only problem that I have with yes. that movie. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. When the when the when the like when the you know like I, I don't know. Like, yeah. I see most people have seen signs of this one. Like when it appears on the TV and you realize yeah. that it was actually like, yup, there are aliens. Yeah. Misstep. Yeah, no need. Yeah. It, like you should have stopped it as soon as you went up and everything was like kind of okay. Yep. Or you should have not shown the alien as much as who did. Yep. Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, he's the camera's on the scene like minutes mm-hmm. at a time, and that's just that's not how you scare. They were doing, they yeah. did so well leading up to that point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he did well, that. that. Um, then he did yeah. like the village. He did the shape of water. No, not the shape of water. Oh, it's something like Lady in the Water. He did Lady, Lady in the Water. In the water. Oh, okay, that was a weird film. I have <laughs> um, even. Then, you know, like like Glass and all of those movies. Remember what the mm-hmm. superpower? Well, I have never even gotten in. Like I, I like I know no, almost nothing about those movies, but I just heard that the first one of that was good. I don't know if you know what movie I'm talking about. Unbreakable um, is the first one. Oh, Fantastic movie. Breakable. I've never. Seen yeah. it. I've heard it's like pretty good though so okay so he has me three right. good movies <laughs> I'm, I'm getting nicer and nicer <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I, I feel like, like i feel like he started off his career very well and then just went so downhill and like he tried to recover yeah. like the visit split like the visit is okay like it's fun in its own kind of way it's not yeah anything it's, it's okay. yeah mm-hmm. split was pretty good like that was a good split. comeback and then glass mm-hmm. was pretty disappointing is the visit is that the one with the with the grandparents that are not what they seem yeah okay yes the twist is pretty cool there's a the twist there is a pretty cool this is really bad i i don't remember the twist (laughs) oh man i don't don't remember this i don't know like it's a relatively recent movie so we can't talk about i okay I guess I like M. Night Shyamalan more than I thought I did. Okay. Um, look at this podcast. We went from talking about worst movies, and now we got to, to appreciate M. Night Shyamalan. Wow. wow. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Shyamalan. You have some... I, 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 I wouldn't say I'm a super fan, but I'm, I'm an appreciator. <laughs> this is like a character arc. Thank you, guys. I wouldn't have been able to do yeah. without you. Oh, I got you. We oh, definitely okay. have to sit down and watch the visit together. I I really oh, I it's so I can't fun. You don't remember the twist. The twist is like I don't know. The twist to me is what one of the best parts. Okay, we probably we probably can't spoil the <laughs> probably can't spoil the, the Listen, movie, but... here, this is what we'll do. We'll say everyone who's watching and listening, watch the visit, because at some point in the future, or maybe the next podcast, which is Friday the thirteenth. At the beginning, we will talk about the visit quickly and kind of yes. go over the twist and talk about that before we talk about our topic, which I'm not going to spoil, although you could probably assume what Friday the 13th is going to be. Yeah, we're going to talk about um, Evil Bong. <laughs> yep. And- <laughs> I was waiting. And the Ginger that. Dead Man. I was waiting. And Cats, the movie, the, the new movie. The live, so yeah, the live action Cats. It's so bad. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so so with the talk of cats, what I'm going to say is thank you for everybody for listening in, and thank you, of course, to Nick and Bill, and of course to our editor and mechanic and 
automobile maintenance man, Skippy Midnight. He is fantastic. He has his own YouTube channel. I think it's Skippy Midnight or it's Skippy Plays. Uh, Skippy, if you want to jump in and, you know, say what it is so I don't get it wrong. It's it's just Skippy Midnight. There you go. You heard it there. It's going to be there Skippy Midnight. Check that out. Uh, check us out on Spotify, Apple Music, and on Flash Forward Reviews. Again, thank you everyone for listening. This is the first episode of The Three Strangers, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Yeah. See ya.